Hey Pisces, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of December. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This will be a general love reading. So please, Pisces, only take or resonate with you all. Before we hop in, guys, a couple announcements. I will be using my new Oracle deck. Yay, it is finally here. My tears have healed my heart by fire intuition. I'm super excited, guys. I do want to say thank you for all the love and the support. Um, you guys showed your girl some love when I released the deck yesterday. So thank you so much, Pisces, or like, you know, all the zodiac signs, of course. Um, but if you guys would love to purchase my new deck, I will put the, well, the link, the link will be pinned in the comments and also in the description box below. Alrighty, um, let's hop in. Oh, wait, the second announcement, the... The love box is selling out, guys. All right. So the new love box for December. Of course, everything is made with love by me. All righty. So the box will come with the love mojo bag, the um, attraction, love and attraction oil roller, a sage stick, the love salt bath, the pink and red um, heart candles, my new love and attraction spray. The Queen of Swords bath salt, and it's gonna come with the Love and Attraction oil and spiritual floor wash. Alrighty, you guys can purchase this box on my website, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. That's also where you guys can purchase my deck. Links are going to be in the description box and pinned in the comments below. Alrighty, so let's hop in, Pisces, and let's see what's going on with you all in love. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. So that you guys are notified when I do up, um, upload future content. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty, let's hop in, Pisces, and let's see what's going on. Alright, let's see. Messages for Pisces and love, first half of December. All right, Pisces, let's hop in. Let's see. We have the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. Pisces, you guys are in your head a lot. Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. There's a lot going on, a lot of confusion. You guys are really needing to rest your mind. Like It's like you guys are needing to take a break from whatever is on your mind. You guys are definitely overthinking. Nine of Pentacles, the Knights. A pentacles to the ten of pentacles in the three of cups okay so let's see what's at the bottom of the deck five of swords in reverse the high priestess in reverse that's you pisces six of pentacles okay so you guys are not sure if you guys should move on and let go or like kind of like hold on and give in to the situation wait someone is definitely giving in to another person relationship or there's some type of complicated situation or some type of situation ship around you guys okay that is taking forever to happen. And you can't wait to be with this person. And it's stressing you out. Okay, it's stressing you guys out. All right, we have the Six of Swords in reverse with the Higher Font in reverse, two of, pen two of Wands. I said Two of Pentacles. All right, so the Six of Swords is in reverse and the Higher Font in reverse. You know, you're just, you're tired of this energy. You're tired of the situation. You're tired of it being an open relationship. And you're waiting for them to make a decision and come towards you. You're waiting to hear from this person and communicate with this person. Now, for some of you guys, well, for most of you guys, what I'm getting is there, there's no communication. But there will soon will be communication, okay? Four of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles, you're waiting for someone to break up, separate, or you guys are going through some type of breakup or separation, and I feel like you don't want this to end. You don't want to let go of this relationship. That can also be stressing you out because you don't want to let this go. You don't want to end things, all right? It has to do with a commitment, though, okay? You're waiting to hear from someone about a commitment, about, you know, where you stand, what's going on, where do we move forward, where do we go from here, okay? So... 
Pisces, you can't get them off your mind. All right. It's been hard for you guys to get this person off your mind. Um, let's see. Pisces, let's clarify. Spirit of the Universe, love messages for Pisces and love. First half of December. Pisces and love. First half of December. Pisces and love. First half of December. All right, let's see. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Four of Swords. Look. Okay, so you guys decided to take a break, kind of retreat from each other, or there's been separation, distance, you guys haven't talked in a while. Seven of Swords in reverse, you want to know the truth, maybe you crop them up in a lie, or you may feel like they're still lying to you, you may feel like, you know, they're deceiving you in some type of way, but the Seven of Swords is, it's in reverse, maybe you caught them in their tracks or something happened, let's see, because the Seven of Swords is in reverse, um... You may also still suspect that they're lying or cheating or doing something. King of Swords. Okay, so they were being honest with you about something or they told you something. It was honest and maybe you didn't like what was told to you or you didn't like what they had to say. It could, it could have been an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini and it had to do with the separation. Okay, yeah, there was communication that came in and they were clear and honest about it or they were very honest in what they had to say and I feel like you didn't like that or let's see, going to the Four of Swords. All right, why is the Four of Swords here for Pisces? First half of December. Four of Swords. Why is Four of Swords here? The Emperor. And the Seven of Wands. Some of you guys are separating, are going through like a separation. You're married to someone and you're fighting for the relationship. Or you're, you're fight, yeah, you're fighting for this relationship, Seven of Wands. Okay, you don't want to let go of this person, this relationship. Or maybe they don't want to let go of you, Pisces. Justice. Yeah, someone's trying to win someone back, win someone over. And you're in your head, you're confused about the whole situation. You're just like, why? Like, why does this have to happen? Or why is all this happening? Going to justice. Why is justice here? Six of cups. So maybe you guys have children with this person. This can be like a high school sweetheart. Maybe you guys have been together for a long time. And maybe they want a divorce, an ending, a breakup, or a separation, and you don't. Okay? Or maybe this is what you want, Pisces, and they don't. But someone wants to separate. Someone wants to walk away. See, we have the Empress in reverse, okay? I'm also getting messages like um, they could have hurt you in a way where, like, they could have told you, like, they're no longer, you know, wanting to be with you or attracted to you or no longer wanting the relationship because the Empress is in reverse, okay? So when she's in reverse, it's like a, um, a lack of growth or someone that no longer finds you, like, like they don't look at you as attractive anymore. They don't want to be with you anymore. They don't want the marriage anymore. Or like I said, this can be you feeling like this. You're just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm over it. Because the Empress in Reverse can also be you like giving too much to the relationship. Or you sacrifice your happiness. Put them before you. Or you're just tired of, of loving, and nurturing this, or loving and nurturing the relationship. So you're ready to walk away and move on and go towards new love. And leave them behind. So it can go either way. Okay. Um, let's see how the Seven of Cups is here. One to the Seven of Cups for Pisces on love. We have the Seven of Cups. So there's confusions on both ends, I feel. You're confused, they're confused, okay? And it, it's all about someone no longer being blindfolded to something. So meaning that with this energy here, someone doesn't know where they stand. You don't know where this relationship stands. They don't know where this relationship stands. There's a lot of arguing, disagreeing. Someone feeling defeated, challenged, okay? Um, someone feels like someone's like this full of shit. You're like, I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of, you know, what's going on. Someone's in someone's ear. There's just a lot of conflict, drama around the situation, all right? So let's pull out my Oracle deck and let's see what's going on. I do want to go into um, the Emperor and see what that's about for Pisces, Spirit Universe. Messages for Pisces, first half of December. Messages for Pisces, first half of December. Clarify the Emperor for Pisces. Why is the Emperor here for Pisces? I'm confronting my past, okay? So, I'm confronting my past. And then we have, you can't finesse me. So, Pisces, they may feel like you are trying to play on them in some type of way. Because um, it's like this person knows that they, they need to confront their past. They know that they have some past issues or past things that they need to work on. 
or maybe this is you telling this emperor like look stop trying to finesse me and you know deal with you know our past issues like or deal with your past issues if you want to be together if you want to keep this relationship going um maybe the emperor is trying to finesse you in some type of way um give me one more message for this emperor i'm gonna take the wait it says babe i'm burning candles and sage you really got me manifesting so someone is trying to step up is what i'm getting okay pisces are it's like you guys met someone new and are there no they're trying to come back new because it says i have to let this burn where's my sage yes and we have i'm confronting my past gratitude is, is my new attitude so yeah so okay so pisces okay Pisces okay let's go back so okay because now what I'm getting here is that going to the babe I'm burning candles and sage this was trying to come out what is this okay the moon is in reverse the ten of wands someone is realizing they stress the stress you the hell out on this relationship and with the empress in reverse this looks like now you are ready to walk away and say goodbye now this person is having regrets and they are wanting your forgiveness okay they're in their head about you um taking them back so all right so the okay so the reading now how i'm seeing it is pisces you walked you walked away okay um going to the empress in reverse okay you walked away and they're trying to come back as the emperor they're trying to fight for this relationship and keep this relationship but you're in your head about it because you don't know if you can trust them because they lied and they finessed you so many times they like they finessed you okay and they no longer can finesse you okay you no longer can be finessed let's see why is the empress coming up in reverse for pisces damn this flew out we need to talk so it's like you we need to talk you need to have a talk you guys need to talk about something okay or they're telling you like we need to talk let's have a talk we have our connection is crazy so and then we have let's see i'm on the way so this situation I, I just feel like this is it, it's driving you crazy okay it's driving you crazy why pisces because they're on the way to have this talk with you the connection is crazy this is someone that you love but you're tired of them you're fed up you're tired of being finessed they're telling you like, oh, like I'm, I'm burning candle and sage. I'm manifesting you. I'm manifesting us. I want to be with you. But I feel like you heard this one too many times. You're tired of being finessed. Okay. And you're over it. And you're like, you're not going to keep finessing me. You're not going to finesse me anymore. So let's see why the um, Ten of Pentacles is here. But there's going to be some type of coming together. You guys are going to see each other reconcile your differences. Let's see. So what I'm getting is you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. So let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. All right. And then we have Temperance Reverse. So someone wants to come out of separation. You guys have, you guys, you guys agreed that the best thing to do was to separate or someone felt like, let's separate. But now someone's thinking like, oh, it was an unwise choice. Why did I, why did we separate? Because we have our connection is crazy. See? This person is in love with you, Queen of Cups, or you're in love with them. Ours is telling me that you guys are both in love with each other. And with the strength card, things do get wild and tense and crazy between you guys, okay? And there is there is a lot of love here, okay? But I feel like this has been one emotional roller coaster, okay? This has definitely been an emotional roller coaster. Um, most of the three of cups. Eight of Wands. So, yeah, they're going to open up communication. The sun is here. And then we have four of pentacles in reverse. Okay? You guys broke up. They're trying to get back with you. Or they're going through some type of breakup or some type of ending. But I see the hate man um, here. That's your energy, Pisces. So, it's telling you, like, don't act on anything right now. Like, don't, don't, don't do anything. Okay? Um, kind of like wait. Alrighty? Um, so, let's see. We have the higher font reverse. Most of the higher font reverse for Pisces. Because this is an open relationship for some of you guys. Why is the higher font reverse for Pisces? We have, I'm focused on my money boss move. So they didn't want to be in a relationship with you or commit to you. So you guys just start focusing on your money. Or they've been focusing on their money. Okay, they're making boss moves. Or maybe that's why they're coming in as the emperor. Okay, and we have, I hope you are the one. So you're just telling them like, if you come back, like I hope you're the one. I hope you're going to commit to me. I hope you're going to, you know offer me some type of commitment this person hates to see or hear you cry okay 
is at the bottom of the deck. So let's pull three messages from your person. Let's see how they feel or what they want you to know, Pisces. I will be extending your reading, Pisces. I will pin the link in the comments below. I will pull another spread on the other side. I'm also going to look at third party, no communication, couples and singles. All right. So let's see. What does Pisces person want them to know? What does Pisces person want them to know? They want you to know that they, they're feeling insecure. It says, I'm feeling insecure. My tears have healed my heart. So they've been doing some crying. They're, they want to heal. They want to heal this relationship. Okay? Or they feel like they're in a better place. They're finally able to open up their heart chakra to you. But we have, I'm feeling insecure. So this is telling me that this person, at times, they feel like they're healed and they're ready and they want to move forward with you. But they're they're feeling insecure and not so stops them. So there's fear. Let's see. And then we have, I'm ready to be your dope ass husband. So I feel, Pisces, whoever you guys are dealing with, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I fight this person wants to be your dope ass husband. I fight this person wants to marry you. Or if you guys are married, they want to be like that husband. Like, however you met them or when you guys first got married they want to be like that or go back to that or if you guys aren't in commitment or married it's like they would love to be your husband one day they will they would love to be that dope ass husband they would love to give you the world or give you everything you ask for okay but they know that they need to learn how to open up that heart chakra and heal their heart you know um and stop feeling so insecure because that's what's holding you guys back fear is holding this person back going to i'm feeling insecure Six of Swords and the Page of Cups. They need to release some type of past baggage, some childhood issues or something that is stopping and blocking them from opening up to you emotionally. See on the Page of Cups how his hand is all the way out with the cup. It's like this is someone that loves you, they care, but they kind of distance how they feel toward you because like the cup is out. It's like, oh, I love you, but it's like they're not going to like fully come up to you. But, oh, I love you, I miss you, like all that. It's like it, it takes, it takes, um, like they have to put more energy into it. Like to tell you to express it for some of you guys. Are they just not as open as you are? See the death card reverse, not something that they can't seem to let go of. So this is something that they need to put an ending to. This is this needs to be buried in their past and they need to let it go. So there's some childhood issues or them feeling insecure, them not feeling like they can love or not, um, or that they can't love you, or it's something like that. Or maybe they just weren't loved enough, or you know, like they they're the type of person that loves you at a distance, but the love is there. You get what I'm saying? So they need to come out of their insecurities as well. All right. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope to see you all on the other side. If not, send you guys 11 likes. All righty. I love you, Pisces. Bye.